honestly, it's chaos. I was also meaning to show you this. It's just, just general tiredness. I hate to be one of those people that's like, so many of you asked about my skincare routine. <laughs> Look who's here. Oh. The vlog makes no more sense moving forward. It's because of these. It's not it bad, bad, but it, it is, it was, yeah, we were just very drunk. Oh, they got me picking a fly out my nose. Nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've missed these little hellos. Good morning, everyone. How are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a little weekly vlog. I have promised these weekly vlogs and so far I've delivered zero. <laughs> this is the first kind of like, well, I'm seeing a full weekly vlog. I'm starting it on a Tuesday, but I will end it on a Sunday. So yeah, it is officially August 1st today. Happy August. Where has July gone? I genuinely started the month. Maggie, please don't trash your toy. Honestly, it's chaos. She's come back and just chose violence. It's her favorite pastime. She's just taken all of the stuffing out of her duck. That was a gift from Zara's Nana. Yeah, so July, gone like that, crazy. Birthday was wonderful, France was wonderful. Went home, got a new tattoo. It's just been the most, honestly, mad. Do you feel the same? Where's time gone? Well, time flies when your life's falling apart, Luke. That's my <laughs> motto. Oh God, it's still miserable in London. Um, I know we can't complain because Europe is currently going through like a severe heat wave, but it's genuinely rained now consecutively, but I think for about like a week. So not great, not really channeling the summer weather, although I would happily take this over last year because that was so, so uncomfortable. Anyway, um, I'm vlogging this week. Nothing really major happening. However, some nice little things dotted around. So tomorrow I'm actually going on a press trip with uh, John Lewis and Waitrose to visit a farm in Gloucestershire, actually really, really close to where my aunt and uncle live, who consequ consequently? Consequently, I'm actually visiting at the weekend as well for the first time this year, so obviously I saw them in Bologna. So yeah, it was, it's gonna be a very Gloucester, kind of like Midlands heavy vlog, so nice to show you a different part of England opposed to just the UK, uh, just London, sorry. <laughs> God, I need to have my coffee. I had to run a couple of errands this morning and I've just picked up some very lovely Wellington boots um, because it's a farm and it's going to be torrential rain tomorrow so that's going to be interesting vlogging. Um, John Lewis very kindly sent over some wellies for me. Now I actually left my wellies at my aunt and uncle's all the way back in Christmas so they've been there for the best part of seven months so I'm very grateful that John Lewis sent over some very nice green hunter wellies. How nice are these? They're slightly short length, the ones I have are slightly longer. So these are very farm appropriate with a buckle on the side. I love the green, I think they are awesome. It's almost like they knew the green was my favourite colour and I really needed some wellies. So yeah, they are the, what are they called? The Men's Original Side Adjusters in Short Dark Olive. So yeah, I've got to get a train from Paddington at the morning, I think 8.34 departs, so it's gonna be a bit of an early start. Today, I'm gonna to go see Ewan. I haven't seen him since he's been filming in Hull, uh, and we're gonna have a little catch up, and um, he's gonna give me my birthday presents, which is really, really kind. It's just been so busy filming for Sort Your Life Out season four, I wanna say. Yeah, season four, so he's flat out. So it's gonna be really nice, we're gonna have a little drink in a local pub. Other than that, not really much to uh, report on. Look at this, look what you've done. <laughs> so you may remember I shared the issue where I accidentally spilled a coffee all over my laptop. Now this is my laptop I've had for five years and I went to get it replaced in Apple and it was gonna cost the best part of a thousand pounds with a battery replacement that needed doing as well. So I spoke to the guys in there and they said it's probably gonna be worth investing in a new laptop so I'm gonna keep this one as a spare. Um, some of you actually messaged on Instagram and said, you might be able to claim through your home insurance. We do have home insurance. So that might be something I can consider doing, but I wouldn't want it to like affect the premium and cost and stuff. Um, so I could definitely look into that, but it, you know, it works. It just doesn't work without a plug. So it needs to constantly be plugged into the wall. So it's not a very portable laptop. So this is the new one. I've literally just turned it on. I'm keeping my coffee all the way over there. Don't even come near me. <laughs> I've just taken everything out of the box, the charger. I'm gonna pop that there. There we are. This is just the leaflet and stuff. It says connect to power, so I'm gonna do that. What I need to do is transfer everything from my old laptop to my new one, and then I should be um should be good to go. 
Okay, I finished at work, transferred everything over. The laptop is now fully functioning, which is good. Lesson learned, no coffee near technology. I'm gonna go meet Ewan now, and I'm gonna take Maggie because it's a lovely day and Ewan hasn't seen Maggie in a minute. So, she can catch up with her bestie. I'm gonna go see Ewan. <gasps> Are we gonna go see Ewan? And the pub we're going to is dog friendly, so. Yeah, you're gonna go get a little pint? A little puppy pint? <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Honestly guys, I know a lot of you will know if you have dogs, but it's like packing up for a child. You've got to take like a water bottle. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so I've just got off the bus. Ewan is already here. He's gone and got us a little drink to the half moon in um, Herne Hill. It's really, really nice. It's got a lovely like outdoor seat. It's fab. Just gonna give Maggie a little treat. Ooh, a little biscuit for you. Sit, sit down. Good girl, there we are. Good girl. I seen about the weather earlier, it's not very nice. It's actually stunning today, it's a little bit warm. Look at those blue skies. There are some clouds, but that's fine. Maggie, should we get you some water? I think so. Let's get you a little water. Look who's here. Oh, I like your shirt. Sorry, how's it going? Thank you, mate. Where's it from? Well, I got from the charity shop. Oh, yeah. oh we, I remember yeah. seeing this in the vlog, right? You put it in the vlog. Yeah. We are at Sorry, um, I I completely the Half Moon. The Half Moon. God, I'm glad <laughs> someone's paying attention. Maggie can smell the food. I didn't know you and ordered food. I was hungry. Very cheeky, mate. I didn't know. What have we got? We've got some beetroot dip. Lovely. Um, Olives. <gasps> Love for catcher. Um, very nice. Bread yeah. And some oil. Gorgeous. Very much a me lunch and, yeah. a, and a diet cork. Thank you very much. I just mate. got all the. They're not even starters. What are they? Small like plates. The Appetizers. Stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Apps. Sides. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I I, re yeah, I always um, get comments about what Americans call like appetizers and entrees and oh, stuff yeah. and starters and main courses. Anyway, Maggie. Maggie has been fed. She's had lots of cabbage this morning. We cut some tops and bottoms off for her. Uh, we gave her some carrots and yeah. apple. Yeah. And she's still hungry. <laughs> Look at her. Yep, you're hungry? Can you sit down, please? Thank you. Well done. Uh huh. Anyway, we're just having a good old catch up and we're going to dig on in. I don't know how that's happened. You and just went and got a bottle of rose. <laughs> Just saying, looking at Rosie makes me um, think back to the house Rose of friends. All day. Rose all day. Oh God. <laughs> Thank you very much. Doing the honours. So I've just had a look at my birthday bag from you, and there's a running theme here. <laughs> That's very naughty. You didn't have to bought me a bottle of Whispering Angel. That was amazing. It's a classic. That is honestly such a, that would have been, that's <laughs> sufficient. Thank you so much, mate. I'm not going to leave that out because they might think we'll be drinking that here. <laughs> Bring your own booze. <laughs> wow. That is honestly fantastic. This is the Friends intro. I'll be there for you when the wine starts to pour. <laughs> I've just opened all of my presents from you and these are incredible. So some of these you might actually, if you watch Ewan's videos, you will have seen. Um, this I actually really loved when he showed this in a car boot sale haul recently. And I was like, that's a really nice pot. And I, little did I know, it was actually meant for me. We've got a lovely Muji candle here. This is cinnamon and mandarin. Look at the colour of that. It's very festive. I'm going to pot that away for awesome for sure. These I'm actually so, so obsessed with. They're 100% linen napkins, but they're like a heavy linen. How nice would that be? It's like a throw. Yeah. Wouldn't that oh, be lovely? Be lovely. Yeah, on like a bed. They do tablecloths in this Do well. they? Yeah. So this is from a local shop in South East London, so um, definitely worth paying a visit. Um, I'll try, it's, I'll see if I can link it down yeah, below. Online. Yeah, are they? And then yeah. this is from the same shop as well. I, this yeah. is my favourite, honestly, this is so lovely. This is like a reeded glass butter dish, but we've just been having a play around on Ewan's vlog of how it would go. We think that's like the best way for it, but how cool is that? You could do, I mean, the bars of soap, anything, honestly. I feel like you know me so well. Definitely with the rosé as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. Maggie has just had a little oh. barking fest at a sausage dog because this is her territory. This is her wine drinking area, apparently. <laughs> She's doing the classic, I don't want to be on camera. Yeah. I am terrible. I got back from um, a very lovely afternoon with Ewan. We fed Maggie, made dinner, didn't film any of dinner because do you know when you just get in the zone? I think because I've been filming a video alongside this weekly vlog where I'm making all of the dinner recipes, 
I guess today's dinner wasn't actually in that filming routine, so I just didn't film it, which is so annoying, but it was literally just pre-made pasta. We made our own sauce, to be fair, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, we just ate pasta, so it wasn't really that exciting, but it was delicious, wasn't it? It was roasted butternut squash and sage tortellini with a pepper and ricotta sauce. Anyway, we are super obsessed with watching Below Deck. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's uh, called Below Deck Sail and it's on Netflix. And it's like a crew of sailors who um, charter in Greece. A lot of American sailors, there's a couple of Brits on there. And uh, they have like guests come aboard, but it's like, it's a bit like reality TV, but it's just so addictive. The episodes are about 40 minutes. We've watched, we've watched like 13 episodes now. Yeah. Do you think that I'd be good as a yachty? A yachty? Yeah. No. I think I would. I no, you wouldn't. Why? I think you'd be somewhat of a good yachty in terms of like what you do for a job. It's quite similar. You please a lot of clients. However, no, I please everyone. That sounds weird. Sorry, don't mean like that. I mean as in what you do. But I think it would take one bad guest, and you'd probably lose your temper that badly. You'd want to disembark the boat immediately and go and scream. Lose my temper? I actually don't lose my head very easily. No, you don't in public, like behind closed doors. Oh yeah, I'd be screaming into my pillow every night. But then you can't do that in a yacht because it's so intimate, you know? Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like I'd really love, like, the different people every three days. Yeah, I true. I don't want to clean people's bedrooms though. Yeah. I don't agree in ironing bed sheets. it's bizarre. <laughs> I am not doing somebody else's washing. I would like to preface this yacht is like a multi-million dollar yacht. So multi? like multi-million. Multi. Multi-million multi dollar yacht. So like these guests are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a charter and they tip like twenty thousand dollars. Which Maybe is wild. Maybe I'll just be there to make drinks and put yeah. on a show. So you wouldn't be like, uh what's the what's Jenna's name? Oh, no, that's who I'd be. Chief Stew. I'd be the Chief Stew with no, no experience. <laughs> Guys, if you've never seen this show, this will make no sense. You've also half watched I Want to Dance with Somebody, which is just premiered on Sky Cinema, and oh, it's so good. We saw it in the cinema. Um, yeah, that's it. Max, have you got anything to report? Look at you. She's been stroppy because I told her off because she was barking at everyone in the pub. I will catch you guys in the morning when I'm going to get a very early tube and uh, set off from Paddington to Gloucester. So, see you then. Well, that was fun. Good morning. Running for a train. Hello, everyone. I am officially out of London. I'm in the middle of Worcester. We're in a beautiful farm today. And um, we're here with Waitrose. Just to learn more about um, the produce that they um, but the supplies you guys, the people who, you know, buy their products. So we're at a dairy farm here today. Really getting an insider perspective of what, you know, goes on at a dairy farm and um, the welfare that they prioritise with, obviously, their cattle. Going to be meeting the farmers as well today. This is a real good, like, first-hand insight into what, you know, farming life is like and the welfare that they ensure each of their cows get. So here with them, two very good friends, Katie and Melissa. They're really, really lovely, both incredible foodies and food writers, and they are so lovely, so they're with the cows now. They're just having a little, uh, <laughs> little investigate, so I thought I'd show you along, but these are all of the cattle, and uh, yeah, we're just over here in the little shed, which is setting up with lunch, the team are in there, so we're gonna have a little, little walk. I don't think I've ever seen cows so close up. This is rather fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, they're majestic! <laughs> What an absolutely stunning day it's turned out to be. We left a miserable rainy London and we are here. So this is Hollings Hill Farm and we're having a wander through the cornfields. We just released the cattle for the afternoon graze and it's just so nice to see that the cows are just, you know, they're completely free. They're chewing away. They're uh, getting all their grass. It's just so, like, it's really interesting for me because I'm all about knowing where my food comes from, especially when it's um, the farmers behind it all and the work that they put into it. And this farm's actually had a partnership with Waitrose for over eight years. Who ever got by me coming up, bringing up the rear? Sorry, it's like kids are like it. Kids are not at all. Probably got me picking a fly out my nose. Nice, lovely. I didn't realise you were recording. I was just like, no, not at all. This is from my vlog. This is just me documenting. This is Katie Pick. She's been on my vlog before. She's rather wonderful. Honestly, everyone out there who's like, is Luke as nice as he actually seems? Never a nicer human has existed. I'm worse. You should see him when you're on the train, and just people just. He could be 
not in anyone's way at all. And he's just like, oh, sorry, sorry, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Taking people's bags. Like, honestly, you Stealing make them, a coffee for people. Running away with the bags. <laughs> He's just lovely. Stop so it. Lovely. That's very kind, Kate. It's very kind. Katie's great. I met when did I first meet you? I feel like it was a while back. Can't get rid of her now. Was it on the waitress? It probably was. No, it was. It genuinely was. I'd followed you for years, but we met via waitress. This is what I've spoke about before that waitress doesn't wait waitress bring together mm. the nicest people. They're good across people, honestly, they? across all trips I've met We're some so lucky. Yeah, we are. I said this earlier, like how is this our wedding kit? I know. I know. <laughs> So um, we're going to go to the milking session now, where we're going to see firsthand the cows being milked. I think it's at three o'clock they said, so in about 20 minutes we're going to go and have a little little view of that. Which is going to be interesting, Katie's, you've never milked a cow have you? I don't know if we're going is to be milking a, Is them. it a common thing to no, milk a cow? No, I don't think so. Actually, well no, I haven't hand milked a cow, but I have stuck one Attached the suctions to it, yeah. On. That was a good sound of it, oh my god. <laughs> I'll even, I'll even That's probably the worst footage I've ever filmed in my life. Well, good evening, I am back in London. What a lovely trip. One of those things where like, I haven't been able to film much because I was filming for Waitrose and with the Waitrose team. I've come back and look how nice this is. Sarah's made me a little curry. Well, she didn't make just me a curry, she made herself one too. This is a roasted cauliflower, sweet potato and pepper curry with an arm bread using Waitrose sauces, no doubt. Thank you. Very kind of you, just chilling there. Oh, I've had the best day. Look at you, just chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have a little debrief of our day because Sarah's been at home today and we need to have a little catch up. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, not really much is happening. We're going to a rosé terrace tomorrow, do you remember? Yeah, weather's nice tomorrow, checked. <laughs> everyone so it's Thursday today and it was a very nice warm blue sky morning this morning walk Maggie uh, and I'm looking out the window now and I'm like oh no don't rain again <laughs> we're going to a little terrace this afternoon evening it's fully exposed so if it does rain we're gonna get very wet but <laughs> welcome to Britain uh, yesterday was lovely yesterday was so good but my goodness we were wiped we ended up traveling Gosh, I can't even remember how long we were traveling for, but it was quite a while. A lovely day, and I'm just sat editing all the content from yesterday. This is why these weekly vlogs, I read, I watch some people's weekly vlogs, and I'm like, how do you fit all of that in one week? But so much of my time is sat on that laptop just editing, so it's not really fun for you guys to watch. But there are some things that I can sandwich in between. I had this sent through recently. This is the Barbecue Bible, and it was to join these, which are some cape herb and spice rubs now i know they're probably going to be aimed more towards like meat however you can definitely use these in veggies and uh you know all kinds of barbecue dishes we've got portuguese piri piri spice louisiana cajun spice we've got caribbean jerk what have we got here texan steakhouse that probably would slightly air towards uh meaty options and then we've got chipotle and sriracha chili season and sweet and sour and smoky southwestern how good deal i think the packaging's really cool and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try those out. So they might feature in some recipes coming soon, but this looks wonderful. Again, it looks quite meat heavy. Um, let's have a look. I had a quick flick through earlier, um, but some of the dishes do look quite applicable to veggie options too. So this is the Barbecue Bible, more than 500 great grilling recipes from around the world. And it's got the Julia Child Cookbook Award winner. So this is just gonna be really interesting. I feel like it's gonna be more of like an informative cookbook. Um, but so cool to have a look through. I was also meaning to show you this. Sarah actually gave the bookshelves a bit of a tidy up. I think it was driving her insane. <laughs> She's still sticking with the theme of colour, which I'm like, props to you because... Pfft. I just can't, I just throw them in. Um, but what she's actually done, I'm not sure if she's done it on this shelf. Now start a double stacking books. So there are books behind as well because these are quite deep Billy bookcases. So all of the books at the back are books that we have read and then all of the books at the front are ones that we are yet to read. So it's a very clever system. She's done well. But yeah, <laughs> the collection is growing. Speaking of growing too, look how much this plant is thriving. This is the one I got from Hastings and it's a form of spider plant. Look, we've got a whole new little addition here that might need propagating very soon, but how cool is that? It's loving life. And then this little chap is the other one that I got. Again, not 
thriving as of yet, but I think it will. I'm gonna give you a little drink too, but I think the leaves are so beautiful. My basil plant's doing well too. That's still sitting pretty in here. And I popped the little ceramic Shropshire Blue Fontenot Mason jar here from you. And I haven't got anything in it as of yet. I actually might pop some of the seasonings in there. That might be a good idea. So this one, whoops, this one is one I've had for a couple of years. This, it's got rock salt in it. This salt pig's got kind of like finer salt we use for like pasta. So maybe we could do a different season than that one. These are all, I love having these out. I know it looks a bit messy. I mean, <laughs> a giant pizza peel. Not exactly the most kitchen aesthetic. However, it's all stuff that we use regularly, like spoons, spatulas, rolling pins, whisks, etc. soy sauce, Aleppo chili, uh, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, other olive oil, pepper. It's all, it's all stuff we use. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, so I'm just about to feed Maggie. She has a, oh, you just got an extra, go on, go on, go on. Extra little bit of, and another piece. Oh my God, it's not going well. We feed her using um, tails, it's like a dietary required, essentially like restricted diet, because Maggie's got quite a sensitive stomach. Two years of late night toilet runs on a second floor flat have done us very, <laughs> very well in the old uh, crawls feed department. We look tired. So yeah, she has to have a specific diet. And she's incredibly well behaved, but because she's a Labrador, she does have a tendency to drool, so we have to pop her drool blanket down, which she knows, there we are. So this goes here, and then she has her dinner. There we are, darling. Three, two, one, go on then. Good girl. I've had a quick change. I'm not wearing my t-shirt from earlier. Zara is already in town. She's been in meetings back to back today. And we are heading to a lovely little rosé terrace, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to. The weather is not giving rosé terrace, but it will be lovely nonetheless. It will be lovely nonetheless. Um, it's with Mirabeau rosé, which is a French rosé, and it's one of my favourites. So. so my throat sounds a bit croaky. I don't know if you guys can tell us. I'm very like, uh, I think it's just general tiredness. So we're at the Broadcaster, which is at the top, it's kind of like where the BBC television centre is, it's like a DJ, it's really really cool. Uh, we've got the menu, ordered some Mirabao cocktails, which are cocktails using rosé. Uh, yeah, it's really nice, I'll show you around. It's like a really cool like indoor sheltered space, that's the television studio just there. And I've got a little DJ going on over there, it's really cool. So I've ordered a Mirabao Negroni and Zara has a Mirabao Spritz. I mean you couldn't have chosen a more on-brand drink. If you try. <laughs> oh my god, black bears have arrived. They're so good. You're like, yes, you got the sun behind you. <laughs> that looks amazing. Well, that was lovely. Very, very nice. And do you know what? Not as. Um, do you know what I'm just gonna say, guys, if you watched the Nice vlog, we were absolutely pissed. <laughs> I feel like we really cheered for we, um, I feel like we can talk about it now that it's happened. Uh, we, we got in Nice when Zara and I had that brief period. You may, if you want to watch it back after this, please do. We were. It's just, it's the day I was wearing the green dress. Yeah. That's and nice. we, we were like, oh, some time has passed. We were absolutely we pickled. Are we gonna be honest about what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't. No, we can't. We actually like. I hate. Like, I used to watch YouTubers, and they'd be like, like "No, no, no." Oh, well, what's that thing in um? Gavin and Stacey, and it's like, what happened? Oh, to what Bryn? happened to Bryn? No one it's knows. It's like that. Like, no, like we will. It wasn't never. horrendous. Like, come on, it's not it bad. bad. But it, it is. It was. Yeah, we were just very drunk. I mean, we you can put two and two together, but the oh, severity no, of no, it was not great. Yes, um, but it didn't harm anybody. However, maybe the rosé hits different in England. You know what the difference is? The sun. The heat makes the wine if go in your head. If they put the heating up in there yeah, would have been and shone a light on me, Pickled. I'd have been back in the service. But that was lovely, really, really nice. Thoroughly recommend that. We're going to head back to Maggie now. Good morning, everyone. So today is Friday and I am heading out of London. I thought I would... Maggie's just here, by the way. She's just... She's just chilling. I hate to be one of those people that's like, so many of you asked about my skincare routine. <laughs> I'm not doing this for any other reason that I was just reading through some comments on my most recent vlog Where I went home and I was getting ready and talking to you guys and quite a few of you have asked what I was using on my face Because there's quite a few products. So I'm going to talk through them very very quickly. Um, 
preface this with I'm not a skincare expert. Everyone's skin is different. My skin, I've freshly showered, so it's quite dry at the minute. I do have a little breakout on my nose. I'm 26, you know, still going through the motions. I had terrible skin as a kid. So this is just what works for me. And I really believe in looking after your skin. So first thing I use is a toner. Just helps balance out your skin. This one's from Garnier. It's the Time Purifying Perfecting Toner with organic thyme and balancing active ingredients. My skin is incredibly oily, so just pop it on a cotton pad. I really want to look at getting some reusable cotton pads, just because I'm conscious that I use one a day. Um, but yeah, this rosemary toner is so nice. I, I have quite sensitive skin as well. Trust me, like, my skin, bless the Lord, he gave me what he gave me, and it could be ten times worse, but yeah, sensitive and oily, so I just rub that all over. I feel like it just helps keep everything calm, plus it's quite cooling on the skin. Step one. Done. I then go in with an eye roll on. This one is from Heath. It's just rubbed off. It has a metal ball that you can just roll under your eyes. Really nice, like wakes you up, very cooling. Depuffs the eyes. Got a vitamin C in there. And a bit of retinol as well. So you just pat it in with your little ring finger. Get the most delicate finger you have. Your under eye area is super sensitive. You want to drag the product. Done. Next, I'm going to go in with this vitamin C serum. All of the skincare I use is super affordable. I do just like a pump, it's just running out, that's why I've done quite a few. And then massage it into the skin, the neck as well, take it up the neck. Vitamin C is so good for your skin because we don't eat enough of it in our diets. We're lacking vitamin D in England because the sun is never here, so any vitamins you can pop into your skin is amazing. Then I go in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is a 2% acid. People sometimes get scared about acids, I use like that much in small doses, build them up. I've used acids for a long time now, so I know what my skin can and can't handle. But just really nourish that into your skin. Hyaluronic acid is fantastic, it brightens the skin. I use that on morning. I'll just work that in. And then I use a niacinamide 10%. Niacinamide again, really good for your skin. Good if you have blemish, blemish prone skin. I use just one per pet of that. Again, into the hands and into the skin. The texture of this one's quite strange, but they all absorb beautifully. Just really gently massaging that in around the neck area too. I wear SPF every single day. This one's from Vichy. It's an SPF 50, so just pop that directly onto my face. Yeah, SPF 50, even in low to no sun at all. Daily exposure to sunlight obviously increases your susceptibility for sun damage. Sun damage leads to aging. I might be 26, but these crow's feet say otherwise. <laughs> so that's that. Now that I've got all my serums in, I then go in with Cetaphil Moisturizer. This is a really, really nice and lightweight moisturizer. Do it at two pumps. Because I have quite oily skin, I need something that's not going to overwhelm my skin and make it look greasy. And this is just so lightweight. It's like a drink of water for your skin. And then finally, I use some of this Code X Oil Balancing Cream. And again, just one, two pumps like that. And that just combats the oil. It's like a mattifying cream, so just pop that in my T-zone area where I naturally do get oily. And then I just finish off with some Nivea SPF Lip Balm on the lips. And that's it. I fully appreciate now why people are like, what do you use? <laughs> and that's my skin done, ready for the day. Well, I am in the car, packed up, fully ready to leave London. The traffic is horrendous today. I have no idea why. Got Maggie in the back, just chilling. It's just here. Hello. But I'm currently on Chelsea Embankment, and I was going to get the train. There are train strikes this weekend again. Uh, <laughs> it's not great. So we're taking the car, and I was actually able to pack my pizza oven as well. So we're going to do pizzas at the weekend, which I'm very much looking forward to. So the scene, I'm going to get there at bang on two o'clock. So I've made it to my aunt and uncle's. It's all calm here. <laughs> Guys, the drive was awful. It's supposed to take three hours and 20 minutes and it took four and a half hours, so not great. <laughs> Maggie, oh my God. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, she's never done this before. Okay, so Maggie likes water features. Didn't know that was a thing. Just gone for a walk up the hill with a lovely glass of wine and some sandwiches just to make the most of no rain. I just made some pizza dough because I brought my pizza oven with me. It's the joy of having the pizza ovens you can take everywhere as possible. So we're having pizzas this evening. Thought I'd show you my aunt and uncle's garden because it's so beautiful. Maggie seems to enjoy it too. Look how much effort and time they put into it. It's absolutely stunning this this takes up a lot of their free time so it's a labor of love but it's just absolutely gorgeous so this is their greenhouse and there's some sheep up here let's go say hello to them i'm gonna just come up these so these are old railway sleepers and the sheep are in the field hello guys 
how are we? Some lovely neighbours. <laughs> so they're just chilling. Hear them uh, bleating in the background. I think these are the elephant garlic that they planted last year, so they're just growing. And then we've got some courgettes growing here. Like, honestly, such a beautiful garden. They really, really do it well. So we're just gonna sit down here and have a nice little drink. I think I've got some presents to open for my birthday as well. French 75s, look at these. Just with some fresh bergamot flowers on top and some lemon zest. And Maggie looking very excited. Do I smell gin? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. Saturday and it is raining cats and dogs outside as you would say so it's gonna be a very cozy day inside I got a lovely birthday gift yesterday from my aunt's uncle uh, well two lovely birthday gifts one I'll show you when we're back it's quite big one of them is a chocolate book it features a brownie recipe that I love I've eaten since I was there's actually a photo of me sat in their kitchen maybe about 20 years ago making this brownie recipe this recipe book is quite old it's called death by chocolate mm. excuse you it's called death by chocolate so we're going to be making some brownies today from this cookbook and they are possibly the best brownies i've ever had in my life so much so that i talk about them all the time so i think that's why they bought me the book <laughs> uh, so that's today and i will walk max when the rain stops fingers crossed you you're patiently waiting aren't you <laughs> This toy my aunt and uncle actually bought my game. It's the only toy she hasn't destroyed. She doesn't need two years. There you go. This is the book. It's called Death by Chocolate. The last word on a consuming passion. And the brownie recipe is this one. So you can tell the book's kind of... <laughs> it's got like a vintage cool... Anyway, yeah. Uh, I think it was first published in 72, I think. 1972? Oh, sorry. 92. 1992 so what are we talking over 30 years old this book so an absolutely cracking recipe book full of some really delicious chocolate recipes oh i need gin you need gin now yes it was it <laughs> Oh, this gin? Yeah. Oh, you currently, but I've, I lost, do you know what? I had my tripod that I used to use and me and mum went for a picnic. I think I threw the tripod away. So you currently bottle, bottled on a balanced of gin? That's wrong. We've, we've, got, we've, got a, we've got a tripod in the cupboard. That's all right. You're currently balanced on a bottle of gin. Um, it's raining. Brownies are in the oven, it's quarter past three in the afternoon, so what else do you do? We make cocktails. We're using some King's Ginger. I've never had this before, but Anne and Dave rave about it, so there we are. Brownies are in the oven, they've got about, I think, uh, about 20 minutes left. What's this one, Dave? King's Gin... King, King's Negroni. King's Negroni, which is one of my favourite cocktails, if you know me, I love a Negroni, so let's go. King's Ginger is delicious. Mmm. The vlog makes no more sense moving forward, it's because of these. <laughs> it's not like a Negroni at all, but it's lovely. You've got the washing in the background. Let's Six see. games of Bananagrams later. If you've never played Bananagrams, it's fantastic. It's a great game to ruin families. Um, we have unboxed and cut the brownies. Look at those. So we put some macadamia nuts in these. They're slightly more cakey than I expected them to be. They had about what? Hardly any. Any dry ingredients at all. Anyway, we're going to try them. Oh my god. You were right, Luke. Oh, oh look at that. that. Oh, mama. Mm. Oh, oh, they all dropped. Mm. All right. The bar oh. was way to his own. Oh, dear God. Mm. Oh, dear God. They're just as good as I remember. But they've got their nuts. I like that. The macadamia nuts are delicious, and brownies get better. I think if once you leave them to chill in the fridge overnight and they really firm yes, up. But, yes, but they're all so nice like this. Mm. Slightly warm, oven fresh. Mm. Oh no, it only gets better. Oh my god, guys, they're really good. Oh I have to get god. my hands on Look at that. Mm. That is brownie heaven. Mmm. Okay, so we tasted the brownies. We've kind of done it backwards, haven't we? We've done sweet and mm. savoury, but that's yeah. fine. So this is a waitress recipe. It is one of their recipe cards. I've spoke about these loads on my channel before. If you grab these on your way out, which they're usually on the way out, aren't they? On the, um... Yeah. So this is a uh, macro pate with pickles on rye, and we've made it. 
a little amuse bouche before we have dinner dinner. So this is rye bread that we just toasted with some mackerel, flake mackerel with creme, not creme fraiche, soft cream cheese, lemon, horseradish mayonnaise, spring onion, parsley, and lemon zest. And then the top is pickled radishes with shallots, sherry vinegar? No, white wine vinegar, uh, fennel seeds, and just a bit of salt and pepper. And that's it, we'll finish with some dill. Look at that, absolutely delicious. We're having that with a nice little glass of wine. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a little a little starter before dinner. Dinner this evening is a monkfish curry. Yeah, go for it. Monkfish um, tagine. So we've got a lovely little lime coriander base here with lots of paprika, um, cumin. Is it cumin? Cumin, paprika, mm -hmm. chili, uh, coriander. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna get Stew down for about five potatoes, yeah. Stew down for about five minutes. Lovely. So this is a cookbook that Alan Dear bought me very, very long time ago. This is um, My Street Food Kitchen by Jennifer Joyce and actually done one of her cookery classes. She's such a lovely woman. She's from America. So if you are ever tempted, it's a really, really good book. Well loved by Alan Dear, as you can tell by all of their little, they make a lot of their recipes. Uh, yeah, oh, actually, funny enough, something we have cooked before, the sticky date cake with pistachio brittle and toffee cardamom sauce. We've actually made that and it is so good. So yeah, this is tonight's dinner. How lovely does that look? some lovely French toast this morning for breakfast. And we're now walking along, well, we've just walked up to the Malvern Beacon. It's a bit of a hike, you can probably tell from the hills. Malvern is known as the Malvern Hills. And the hills for a reason, so it's quite windy. But we're now walking back, because we did not anticipate how high it was gonna be. And I'm in trainers, I left my walking shoes in the boot of my car, foolishly. So we're now walking back. And Meg's leading the way. Hello everyone. Oh my gosh. Well, that was a journey. It's half past seven. I got back to London about an hour ago and I just felt like I needed to run. After a rather indulgent, rather lovely weekend, sitting in the car for the best part of four hours, I just thought a run will do me well. I am so exhausted. That was such a lovely, lovely trip. But that run has wiped me out, so I'm regretting that. I'm glad I did it, but very tired. I really hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. It's been so nice filming. I'm gonna take a drink of water. I think I'm gonna pass out. Mm. If you have enjoyed this vlog, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you all soon in a future video. Lots of love, take care. Bye for now.